let's check out how you can post variables from your storyline file into Google Drive. Basically, you have your storyline file, and JavaScript takes a look at your variables and then pushes those onto a Google spreadsheet. So how does this work? We'll set up a spreadsheet in Google Drive, copy and paste some JavaScript, check your triggers and storyline, and publish and test it out. Let's check out the first step, creating a spreadsheet in Google Drive. First, you'll just go to Google Drive, click New, and add a spreadsheet. You can name it anything you'd like. It really doesn't matter. Let's put timestamp at the top of the first column. That way you can capture when anything is added to your spreadsheet. For the other columns, we're going to add our variables later. The main thing you'll adjust here is the tab name at the lower left. This needs to be named Data with a capital D. Next, click Tools, then Script Editor. Here we're going to copy and paste the Google Sheets script from your practice files. Just like before, it doesn't matter what you name the project here. Just save it. And then when it's done saving, go to Select Function and select Setup and then hit the Play button to the left. This will prompt you to authorize after reviewing permissions, so click Review, then Allow. Finally, click Publish and Deploy as Web App, and we'll just change who has access to anyone, even anonymous. Click Deploy, and then copy this URL, which is what we're going to use later. Let's test it out by opening up a new tab and pasting that URL and hitting Enter. If we got it right, we'll get this success message. Going into your Storyline file, one of the first triggers will be the text from Trigger 1, and don't worry about changing any of this, just copy and paste this into an execute JavaScript trigger when the first slide starts. We're going to submit the variables when the user gets to this slide, but first let's check out our variables in Storyline. So I have three variables set up here that I'd like to post. So I'm going to take the text from Trigger 2 and copy and paste those variable names into the text. Here we see that we just need to copy and paste those into those two spots, keeping within the quotes. If you'd like to add more variables, simply include the comma from this line and add another line, unless it's the final line, and that's a, in which case you would not use the comma. But again, following that format, you are able to type it in, there's no problem with that. I just like to eliminate the margin of error by copying and pasting. So now that we've got that, I need to copy and paste the web app URL from my deployed web app. Now if you don't have that copied and pasted somewhere, you can just go back to your script editor and click Publish and Deploy one more time. You don't have to do anything here, it'll just show you that web app URL at the top. That's what we'll paste in between these quotes in our script file. So now that we've done that, we're going to copy and paste the entire thing into an execute JavaScript trigger, and we have it when the timeline starts. Now for our final bit of copying and pasting, we're going to go back to our spreadsheet and do basically the same thing that we did with the trigger and just copy and paste the variable names into these column headers here. And there we go. Once that's done, we're basically ready to publish and test it out. We're going to publish and include HTML5 output, the reason being it's a little bit faster to test this way. Most browsers, if you click HTML5, includes JavaScript, so you don't need to host it to try out th this. 
feature. So we'll go to the point where it's supposed to where it's supposed to post to the spreadsheet, and we'll see if we got it right. As we can see, it included the timestamp. Thanks for watching. If you have any other suggestions for a tutorial or a video, make sure to comment or shoot me an email.